how to enhance your communication skills. We're going to discuss that in detail in this video. Videos that will make you master speaking and grow your personal brand. Fully 85% of your success in life is going to come from your ability to communicate well with other people. All successful people are excellent communicators. So how do you communicate more effectively with others? My favorite word in communications is the word clarity, clarity, clarity. Almost all of our problems in life come from a lack of clarity. We say things, but they don't come out clearly. So in order to be clear, first of all, stop and then think and then proceed slowly. Another great word to rephrase or repeat something. Let's say you say something and somebody goes, huh? That's a great one. Or it's clear that they didn't get the message or they roll their eyes or they take their glasses off, one eye winks. These are all indicators that your message was not received. Not received. Whose fault is that? Is it yours or theirs? I, I take responsibility because I wasn't clear. And one of the things I've learned in languages that you say something in your limited language and they don't seem to understand it. Rephrase it and say it again and ask, did you understand? So effective communication starts with your being very clear in your own mind about what you want to say. Another point, reformulates a response and sends the response back, meaning you paraphrase what they said and send it back. So then you receive, you then receive the response, translate that into meaning and significance, and then you send it back between these two responsers. So this means that they understood you or you understood them, and that's a double thumbs up. So it's better to be sure at every stage of the transaction, of the communication, so you are both clear and understand each other, and sometimes it's a head nod. Also remember clar uh, clarity of culture, because this has a different meaning in a different part of the world. You know, in, in one country, this means, oh, come here in the Western culture, but in the Middle East, that means goodbye. So you just have to be careful when you communicate, understand the platform. People are sending and receiving messages. I mean, this is the cause of wars oftentimes. You better communicate clearly. When someone says something that you're not really sure about, and how do you mean, or how do you mean it exactly, get clarity. Another example, I was speaking in Vietnam four, five, six years ago, and the translator was terrible. The worst translation. Could I detect it? No, I had no idea what he was saying. I don't speak Vietnamese. Not till I took a break during my presentation after half the audience of 800 people walked out did I understand why. The translator was so bad, what he was saying was so confusing that nobody could understand and they got frustrated after listening to me for two hours and the mismatch was so severe, people left. I'd never had that happen in my life. I couldn't understand it. It didn't make any sense to me. Clarity was lost in translation. The other thing to make certain you understand, the clearer you are, the easier for you to understand and respond effectively. And you then are able to communicate with your intended audience better, more effectively, and with satisfaction. Because nobody wants to be misheard. It's an important, important point to clean up your clarity, say it with directness, and get confirmation. Very key. We'll see you on the next video.